Hello friends, welcome to another tutorial in Active Filters series. This tutorial is a continuation to our discussion of active filters. We've covered first order low pass and high pass filters and we've covered second order low pass filter till now and the introduction to active filters is also covered in the first tutorial in this series so I highly recommend that you watch those videos for a better understanding of this tutorial nevertheless we can straight away dive into the schematic of an active high pass filter which essentially consists of this uh, active component it's an operational amplifier in non-inverting position so the the network which is connected to this non-inverting terminal of an operational amplifier for example uh, <coughs> there's a gamut of uh, capacitors and resistances connected to this non-inverting terminal in some fashion so that will determine what kind of a filter it is so if you've seen my previous video where we talk about second order low pass filter we saw that the configuration was almost similar except for the fact that these C's were replaced these capacitors were replaced by resistors and these resistors were replaced by capacitors in the second order low pass filter so that's a that's a good way of remembering uh, the configurations or the schematics for the examination point of view so if you know the schematic of a second order low pass filter so you simply need to replace these capacitors with resistances and these resistances with the capacitors but anyhow the high pass filter will have these capacitors here and this is the feed forward resistor and this resistor is connected in shunt and the output has two resistors and this feedback is given at the negative terminal and the the operation of this specific portion of the network which essentially is super important for active filters has previously been done thoroughly so we'll go into the discussion that the active component of the circuit is a non-inverting amplifier we know that this is the active component and for for this part of the circuit v naught comes out to be twice of va if we assume the ideal conditions if we keep r uh, 1 to be equivalent to r2 in this case we've shown these two resistances to be same and the ideal operational amplifier conditions will result in the fact that this v naught over here will be equivalent to twice of v a so this is a super important result that we derived in the introductory tutorial and in the second step we'll look at this node over here so this node over here is very very important because uh, we see a lot of uh, voltages being you know being set up here because a certain amount of voltage is being dropped at uh, the input node and node 1 and then we have an important node from 1 to uh, VB to VA so this is the VA position the VA node so 
applying node voltage analysis at this node is the first step of analysis where we get that v1 minus vb upon this passive component so basically expressing the voltage upon the passive component va minus vb will be this passive component and v naught minus vb has this passive component over here so by the way this is v a uh, these two voltages are the same so this becomes our governing equation so i put it as number two once you get this governing equation number two we get va or, or rather uh, we'll need to find out vb from this governing equation so vb will be this after some amount of rearrangement and we'll need to put va to be equivalent to v naught by 2 from uh, the first equation that we have inferred from the previous discussion so finally vb comes out to be this in this configuration so if you go to the next step which will be uh, finding VA in terms of these uh, passive components the arrangement of these passive components so this will be R upon R plus 1 upon SC into VB so voltage division uh, rule is applied here to and get VA uh, which of course is equal to 1 upon 2 V naught again derived from uh, this equation so we get we get VB we can find the value of VB by taking everything from this side to the other side and comparing VB from here with this VB that we derived in the previous step we'll need to do some amount of rearrangement to get V0 upon V1 so that becomes this so you could pause the video and note down these results these results are very very important because of the presence of the capacitor uh, you can see the S domain is being featured here uh, S domain component S which is equivalent to g omega so it is being featured here so s is nothing but the frequency component associated with c so v naught upon v1 is what we strive to find out because this is what is known as the transfer function the transfer function is uh, by the way the ratio of output voltage to the input voltage in this particular case we denote it as h of s so our h of s which is the transfer function v naught upon v1 comes out to be in this shape as you can compare a2 will be 2 and then b will be 1 b2 will be 1 b1 will be 1 upon R, C and so on and so forth. B naught will be 1 upon R, C again. But the fact of the matter is HS uh, which is a polynomial of second order in the numerator and the polynomial of second order in the denominator it replicates the behavior of a high pass filter so it, it is the replication of the high pass filters behavior so what we can conclude is that the schematic of this high pass filter conforms to a transfer function that will behave like a high pass filter and the rationale is the presence of 
s square term in the numerator and the denominator makes the gain very high and constant when the input frequency is very high on the other hand for lower ranges of frequency h just becomes appreciably low thus the given circuit represents a high pass filter due to presence of the poles in the denominator in the expression of the gain of the high pass filter this representation is commonly called second order filter so again going back to this expression hs that we always find in every filter which is basically the ratio of v0 upon v1 and the order of s in that mm, transfer function determines what kind of filter is that first order or a second order so i hope uh, this schematic will be um easy to uh, remember for the examination purpose and uh, that's about it for today's tutorial i hope you liked it give it a thumbs up if you liked it and consider subscribing to the channel i'll see you in the next videos to come take care and bye bye